Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm. It's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the, com he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their terms. He's doing it on his terms. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. International. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Bruce the Dragon! Okay, guys, protect yourself at all times, obey my command at all times. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your point. So here we are from the world's most famous arena. It is, of course, Madison Square Garden. This is where the Thug Rose scene went down, DC. This is where it happened, J.A. E. Lost for words, so I yelled the same thing over and over again. Pick Rose Namajunas, and you can hear me yell, Thug Rose, Thug Rose, Thug Rose. <laughs> Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big leg kick lands. He loaded up on that right hand, too. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. That shot is blocked by Lee. Right hook to the body. Oh, nice knee to the head for him there. These guys throwing early. Oh, 
Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Well, we'll see if he can turn this defense into offense, but he's doing a great job blocking shots here tonight. As of right now, he's thinking more defensively, and he's doing a great job of not taking any damage. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just misses there with the left. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Beautiful one. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. The single collar tie. Huge elbow lands from the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Big kick lands. Oh, spinning back twist out of nowhere. Slips to avoid the right. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh, nice. Blocks the strike. Big punch to the clinch. Battle for position here. There's no tell on that leg kick. Pretty good right hand. Watch knees to the body. A little single collar tie there. Boy, tie plump. Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Oh, single collar tie here. Connects with a right. Spinning back fist. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Nice punch land over the top. Hands high, hands high. That punch no good. Spinning back fist. Didn't see that one coming. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Big knee lands right to the opponent's midsection. Throwing that jab, no good. Beautiful leg kick throw. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, high level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Lee. All right, so both fighters now sort of struggling for position here in the clinch. When you find yourself in this situation, what do you do to get out of it? Anytime it's very tough, anytime you're chest to chest and you have nowhere to go, I think to myself, underhook. Whoever's winning the underhook is winning the clinch battle. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable strike. All right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always going to be. You have two very talented fighters. Sometimes it's very even, as we saw. Ooh, big shot land. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Honing in on those counters. Lee gets hit with a kick.
Just missed with the elbow there. Caught that kick there. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Connection there with a punch, DC. Great timer to land that punch. Oh, he hurt him bad with a jab. Spinning back fist. He throws the right hand there. Started to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Straight right, he misses. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Trying to kick the leg out. Beautiful body kick land right under the elbow. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. I mean, he's cutting them down the sides with these beautiful leg kicks. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. All oh, collar tie. And he caught the kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Out of range with that one. Single collar tie now. Oh, that's a good right hand. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side and really mixing up the motion at which he moves. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Punch over the top. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, spinning back fist. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the volume. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. Man, how good is his right hook counter? Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Spinning back fist. Misses with the left hook. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also gonna be able to land. He's gotta be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Flush right hand is true. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. And that's the end of round number two. All right, and there's the horn, and you hear the collective sigh from the crowd. They're all watching that lip, and we're monitoring it as well. Nasty, nasty gash. It's only getting worse by the moment. Doctor called in here. We'll see if he stops the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last round. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight. Both guys have had their moments, especially in the last round. You expect the fight to get ahead, they both been so easily matched. Still, right where we started. 
Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Nice punch land on the top. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Great diversity in his attacks. Nice elbow from the clinch. Lands with the kick there. No pad on that foot. No shit guard. He's taking all of that kick every time he throws. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Nice. A little single collar tie there. And they separate. Just misses with a left hook there. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, single collar tie Master here of the transition. Nice scramble. He blocks the shot. and that's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Story. Oh, big head kick. Oh, beautiful shot there with the hook. I'm not sure his opponent saw that one. His opponent is taking straight punch and he's hooking right around the guard to land and land efficiently. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight tonight. This fight going away in one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Left hand punch to the punch. Straight punch lands. Just missing on the uppercut there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just misses with that one. Well, not sure if he's lighter on his feet or what it is, but these last couple of rounds, he's been far more aggressive, a lot more pressure. Oh, he's really starting to light him up now. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. He lands flush with that right hand. Look at the whip action that comes to him throwing that kick. Both guys really throwing with authority. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Great punch landing with so much power. Oh, there he goes, attacking that lead leg to the outside. Nasty kick there. Nasty leg kick. You gotta slow down. He knew his opponent wanted to move a lot tonight. This is the first step in getting him to slow down and fight at your pace. Checks that leg kick. Not there. Both fighters throwing heat now. Nice punch by Lee. is so educated and he led with it there. He's so comfortable throwing it that he will use it in place of a jab sometimes. Fifteen seconds. Five single power time now. Nice strike. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship rounds. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch. And every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. 
his opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. All right, the action continues here and now as our next round gets underway. The previous round won't be confused for a round of the year, but pretty good action. It was a pretty good round. Not every round is going to have you standing up out of your seat. You understand that you are watching the highest level of fighting in the entire world in the UFC. Nice punch, land. Oh, huge knee to the head. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Nice head kick. Oh, that uppercut hook. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Big leg kick land. Came with inches right there, oh, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. Lands with a right hand. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in them. Good stick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Just over three minutes now to go. And they separate. Oh, well done moving the head there to slip that left hand. His misses are entertaining. And they separate. Big punch lands through the middle. Nice head kick. Oh, good kicks. Blocks the shot. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, knee to the head. He's, he's limping now. Oh, big punch land. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Ninety seconds now remain in the round. That one appeared to stun him. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Right, he engages in the single collar tie. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Flips that left hand. Oh, he's hurt. Both of these gentlemen are putting it on the line. Beautiful strike. Oh, collar tie. Misses again with a right punch. How about that chin? What a body kick. Big power shot there. I don't know how many times he can get hit in the head and stay in this fight. Single collar tie now. 
Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's gonna give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. That's a big strike right there. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Horn sounds for the end of round four. Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of this cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cutman can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful Ready? that he can get it back Ready? together before the start of the next round. Fifth and final round. Another shot lands upstairs. Nice straight punch. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, good job defensively there to block the strike by Lee. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Let me show you the head strikes. That one snuck in. Nice strike. And a nice left hand there on the inside. Continue to go to the head. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. That right hand landed. Oh, and he lands another punch there. And you can tell at this point, he is going right at that cut on his opponent. Right at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. Slow your pace. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, big head kick land. Oh, nice. And they separate. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Whoa! Oh, he might be out. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Spinning back fist is there. Oh! Liver kick. Oh, some of the best kicks you'll see right there, live and in colors. Nice right hand. Center collar tie. Oh, it's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. Under two minutes remain in the fight. Big punch land. Ooh. And there comes the separation now. Got clip with the right hand. and maybe so have we, your winner by TKO. That was a great performance. Way to land those strikes and go and chase down the finish when you get an opportunity. Well, another highlight for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight.
does get it to Bruce Buffer to make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 24 seconds of round number five. Playing the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? Yeah. But you knock out a man in a cage fight. I can't think of anything better. I mean, there's nothing like it. You know, you don't even hear the one that lands that puts out your opponent's lights. And tonight, he got that done.